What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, welcome. Hi, my name is Venus Soleil and here on this channel guys, I bring you really fun, cool drag transformations, makeup artistry and reaction videos. I kind of dibble and dabble in a little bit of everything here on this channel. If that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel because I would love to have you guys a part of the family. From the title of this video, you guys probably already know, I'm gonna show you guys how I get my flawless drag base. Let's get started. <laughs> first so the eyebrows are already glued down um, that video has already been shot if you guys want to know how to glue down your eyebrows go ahead and click the eye card up here it'll show exactly how I did it um, to get it nice and laid down but now it's time to prep the skin so uh, the key to any flawless drag base is prime and at this point you kind of have to realize if you have like dry oily or combination skin that's important because if you have like dry skin you want to make sure that you use products that are pretty hydrating and if you have like oily skin you want to make sure that you use products that are pretty mattifying you know what I mean so I personally have really really dry skin and so I tend to gravitate more towards the hydrating products so today I'm going to be using my milk hydro grip primer to go ahead and prime my face let's go ahead and put a few pumps on our skin a few gonna, and then we're gonna go ahead and just rub that into our face Guys, this scar is like not today's Satan. <laughs> it's dead. It. Now that our skin nice and primed, now we can go ahead and go in with our foundation. And for foundation choice today, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Foundation. And this is the shade Dark Chocolate. I like the foundation because it is super inexpensive and it gets the job done and it's super full coverage. Literally like $5 on Amazon and it's very full coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump some of that on the back of my hand. I'm probably gonna add some more because they have a big face and this is like drag, so we want full coverage. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Retro Glow Oils. I love this stuff because it really adds like some more like oiliness and like shininess to the foundation. Again, if you guys have oily skin, I would not recommend using this because it's just gonna make you look more oily, if that makes any sense. But I know that I'm gonna use a whole lot of powder and my skin is super dry. And I know it's gonna work for me, so like. Okay, that's enough. Just mix that on the back of my hand like this. And just go ahead and just start to apply it. <laughs> Don't forget your ears. That's something I had to learn is if you want everything to look nice and seamless in the end. And if you guys can already tell, like that glow oil just makes everything look a lot more like, I don't know, hydrating and shiny. It does, it does amazing. It works wonders for your skin, okay? Just be super careful when you guys go over your eyebrows and don't like scrub it. You want to just gently pat it over the brows. Who? Whoopi Goldberg, who? <laughs> Girl, you know, it took me the longest to understand Whoopi Goldberg doesn't have eyebrows. Like, when I found out like she legit didn't have eyebrows, I was like, oh my God, like Whoopi does not have eyebrows. All right, you guys, so now that we have our primer and our foundation on and it's time to conceal and my favorite concealer right now is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I love this so much because it is super full coverage. If you guys are wondering like what shade I am, I am in the shade Toffee. Um, I'm running out of this stuff guys so I'm like literally sitting here like, <laughs> come out. <laughs> but we're gonna just put in our T-zone so I like to just go here and I also like to go on the side of my nose you guys like that. I learned this tip from Monique Hart is getting under the nose because it looks really weird when you have concealer on this side and then on this side and then you blend it out and then there's nothing in the center. It just looks really awkward. Um, so I like to just connect it here. And you can like fan this kind of like to let it dry down a little bit to get more coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fan this down just so it can dry a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and start to blend it out. And guys, I typically like to start at the bottom of the concealer first and blend that out because if you start from up here, sometimes what can happen is you can like blend it down and then you're, you'll drag it all the way down. But if you start from the edge down here, then you kind of have a barrier of where you want the concealer to stop. So drag it up, then go in here. See that? Our 
concealer blended out you guys what i like to do is just kind of flip my sponge back over where our foundation was i like to go over these edges and just make sure that the um you can't see a line where the concealer stops the foundation starts i kind of want to be like one seamless blend so i just take the back of my sponge that has the foundation on it and just like run it up the side here you feel me Like, that looks gorgeous. That looks so gorgeous. Give it a thumbs up. This looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. It looks flawless. All right, you guys. So look, we got our foundation on. We got our concealer laid down. We're looking like a freaking like glazed donut right now, girl. We are looking nice and smooth and flawless. So now it's time to really start the highlight process. And for me, I like to use a white or a super, super, super light concealer right next to my nose, right under my nose, and right at the top to really bring light to the center of my face, okay? So I'm gonna take my uh, Kryolan Clown White. I'm gonna dip my fingers in this. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna keep this strictly like hugging my nose. I don't wanna drag this product all the way out here, okay? I like to keep it close to my nose because when I start to blend it out, it's gonna naturally blend its way out a little bit more. So take our sponge and we're gonna just like blend here. You see that? Now, I know you guys are like, dang, Vetus, that is so bright. I know, but after we put our like powders and set everything, it's gonna kind of tone it down a little bit, so it's okay. That's why it's super important that you don't actually like place the, the white like further out. You wanna use the sponge to blend it because like it's gonna look like a complete mess if you guys do it the other way. So take your time and then just like blend. I like to stop like right here on the side of the eyes. Alright, cool. So now that we have that blended out, we're gonna turn our sponge back over to the side that we had our foundation on, and we're gonna just blend the edges. So just like, you know. Okay, awesome guys. So now that we have our foundation, we have our concealer, we have our highlight, we have that all blended out looking cute. I like to go in and now draw on my eyebrows. And the reason why I like to draw my eyebrows on at this stage is because everything is still in cream form. I didn't set anything in place yet. And it's just important to do that because I feel like once you set it, then it's hard to go back on top of powder with cream if you make a mistake. So I like to do my eyebrows like this just to get like a, kind of like a little, a little sketch on how they're gonna look at the end. And if you mess up, you could fix it is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I don't have a way with words, y'all. Brows. Now, the key to drawing on new eyebrows, you guys, this is super important, okay? A lot of people think because drag eyebrows are like arched higher that they should start by drawing their eyebrows up higher. So they'll start up here and then draw it on. Well, that's not the case. Typically, a drag brow is just arched a lot higher. So I like to start with my natural brow normally would start, and I would draw through my real eyebrow and then just arch it down. And then I go on top, and then draw the tail. Like that. Guys, this is the reason why I like doing my eyebrows with creams first. So you can see they're on. They're not really even or symmetrical yet because we're gonna go ahead and clean them up later. But I like to create like an ombre brow. So I like to take um, my white cream that we used earlier and I'll go ahead and put that here in the center like that well, There's a little pink in that hmm. And I'll take my sponge and we'll just blend out our ombre Are you are you are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, like are you picking up what I'm putting down, honey? Awesome, so now that we have that blended out, we can take our white cream paint again, and we can start to carve out our brows. So I'm gonna start with this eyebrow, because this one was the one that was a little thicker, so I'm just gonna like. Be super gentle around your covered eyebrow, you guys. So just like pat this here. 
And then we can go back in and like, you know, blend it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow and I'll be right back, okay? All right, cool you guys. So now that we have our brows on and everything is like on, now we're gonna go ahead and set the face. And my favorite setting powder is every drag queen's holy grail is the Cody Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. Guys, this powder is an oldie, but it's a goodie. And if you're a drag queen out there, I'm pretty sure you have this in your makeup kit because it gets the job done. I like to set my highlight areas first because as you can see under my eyes, it'll start to crease. So I should just set that before I do anything else because it's just easier. Um, and before I go ahead and set that though, I like to go back out with my sponge and make sure that like all the lines are not there. I like to blow off the excess powder. Thank you so much, Alyssa Ashley, for that. But if you blow off the excess powder, then it won't clump up under your eye. And then you just... Awesome. So now that our highlights are set, you can decide, you can set your whole entire face with this and then blend it away later. However, I'm going to try out the new Patrick Star powder. This is the Patrick Star one size uh, setting powder and this is the shade uh, Dark Deep. The reason why I'm trying this powder out is because like, um, you can definitely set your whole entire face with the Cody Airspun powder. However, for deeper complexion, sometimes what can happen is you can end up looking ashy if you set your whole entire face with it. So. Dust that away. This powder is beautiful. Guys, look at my skin. You guys, I am feeling this powder, guys. This beat is really nice, guys. And look how flawless and smooth it is. If you guys have been thinking about trying the uh, Patrick Star One Size Setting Powder, go for it. Um, it's absolutely amazing. This powder is, it's so good. Like, look at my skin, guys. It literally feels and looks like butter. All right, perfect, you guys. So now that we have our skin nice and set, we're gonna go in and start to contour the face. And the palette I've been loving for um, contour is the Watch Me Blush palette. So I like to use this to start off my contour, okay? So with makeup, People like to bronze and then contour, right? So for me, what I found that works for deeper skin tones is if you bronze with like more of a plum color or berry color shade. And literally in the Watch Me Blush palette from Crayon Case, there is a shade called Berries. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Berries. Or in a hollow water cheek like this. And this doesn't have to be placed perfectly because we're gonna actually go in and start to chisel and contour the face. This is kind of like bronzing. So um, this is how I bronze my skin with like berry color, so. I'm gonna go in with another product from the crayon case. This is called the Matte Book and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Has some awesome colors in it. You guys can go ahead and look at it here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark brown shade here, dip my brush all up in that, and this is gonna help with my actual contour and chiseling of the face. So we're gonna dip into that, and we're gonna put that right under the bronzer berry shade, so. You see that? You see how you have this darker contour right under that blush shade? So we're gonna blend this into the blush there, right in the hollow of our cheek. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Patrick Star One Size Setting Powder again, and I'm gonna go ahead and bake under my contour. Baking under your contour just makes your cheekbone or contour area really just pop. So I'm gonna take this powder, powder, this powder, and I'm going to cut under this cheek here. This. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and bake under my eyes with some Cody Airspun. During this part, it's good to like kind of hold your breath a little bit, guys. You don't want to breathe in all this powder. It's a lot. There is a such thing called clown lung. I learned that from Tricks and Mattel. If you breathe all these powders in, you can like get like a lung disease. So just be careful. So I need to kind of like hold my breath. Well, I'm not doing this. All right, you guys. That is my highlight and contour routine done, guys. This looks super cool, right? I know it doesn't look much of nothing right now. It looks kind of crazy. But of course, after we do our eyes and do everything else, we're going to blend it all away. It's going to look super cool. But I just want to show you guys the steps it takes to get a nice base for your, your makeup look. And guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend the One Size Beauty setting powders. These powders are absolutely amazing. As you guys can see, my skin looks super flawless. If you guys got any value at all out of this video, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe to this channel to become a part of the So Slay family. <laughs> I love you guys all so freaking much and I will see you guys in part three. Bye. For now. <laughs> Bye guys. I could be lying and tell you you're fine I could be lying the rest of the night But I'll